Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Manitowoc Garage. Today, we are going to discuss how to set the swing and boom working limits on the CCS, or Crane Control System, Lattice Boom Crawler products, using the MLC650 and the MLC300 as examples. The swing and boom working limit setting procedure for Manitowoc Lattice Machines can be found in the main display Operation Folio 2267 for the Manitowoc MLC650 and Folio 2272 for the Manitowoc MLC300. Each of these folios should always be referenced prior to attempting this procedure. The adjustable swing and boom working limits are a feature that allows for swing operation to be restricted outside preset angles as well as boom operation to be restricted outside preset angles. The adjustable swing limits portion of this feature is also only available if the machine is equipped with the optional swing encoder. This feature is freely usable by the operator to allow for easier use of the machine's swing and boom functions as per control preferences. Let's now take a look in the crane cab of an MLC300 and observe the working limit feature being used. First we will look to the main operator or right display screen. Pressing the menu or lower left button on the jog dial will bring up all our diagnostic screen options. At the bottom of the screen, we will select the arrow down as highlighted. Now, let's navigate to the Swing Limits screen, as shown. Look to the Top Angle Selection section denoted by the letter A. This will allow you to set the Swing Left Limits. This can be done by either swinging to the desired angle, or setting the angle manually using the jog dial. We first will set the angle using the jog dial. To do this, we will scroll using the jog dial or face arrow buttons until the white angle selection box in the A or swing left section is highlighted. Now, by pressing the OK button, we are able to modify the selected angle. In this example, we will adjust the number to 66.8 degrees and press the OK button to confirm this selection. Next, we will navigate to the Swing Right selection box. Using the jog dial or face arrow buttons, scroll to the white angle selection box with the letter B. Press OK to modify the Swing Right limit. In this example, we will select 283.6 degrees and press the OK button again to confirm this selection. The swing limits are now set as per operator preferences. The image in the center of the screen will also depict those preferences. In this example, the green area shows the region where swing is currently allowed, and the red region shows where swing is currently disabled. If you wish to enable those selected limits, navigate to the on-off selection button in the center of the screen, as shown, and press the OK button. The selected swing limits are now enabled. We may also set these limits based off the current swing angle. As we can see on our machine, our swing degree is currently positioned at 180 degrees. If we navigate to the gray selection box for the swing left angle or the A selection area, we can press the OK button and our current angle will be copied to the manual angle selection. This process can be repeated for the B, or swing right selection area, as well, as shown. Our swing limits are now set to our 180 degree swing position. Now, we will also preview the adjustable boom angle working limits. To do this, we will navigate again to the main operator, or right display screen. Now, on the second page of menu options, select the boom angle limit screen, as shown. This Boom Limits selection screen is very similar to the Swing Limits screen previously discussed. The Angle Selection section labeled A is used for the Boom Down Limit, or Minimum Lowest Boom Angle. The Angle Selection section labeled B 
is used for the boom up limit or maximum highest boom angle. These limits will not bypass the limits of the crane and or configurations specific to your load chart. Always reference your machine's appropriate load chart prior to setting the boom working limits. To set these limits, we will first navigate to the lower limit selection area and scroll to the white angle selection box in the A section. We will adjust this to 3.0 degrees, as shown. Next, we will scroll to the white angle selection box in the B section to set the upper boom angle limit. As shown, we will set this to 50.0 degrees. Now we can see, on the center image, the boom operating range given the operator's selected limits. The green area shows the range where the boom can be operated, while the red area shows the range where the boom functions will be restricted. These limits can now be enabled by scrolling to the on-off selection box and pressing the OK button. As shown, the previously selected limits are now enabled. We can also complete this process by physically moving the boom to our desired limit positions and pressing the OK button on the gray A selection box to set the lower limit and the gray B selection box to set our upper limit. In this example, we will keep our previously selected limits as opposed to using the boom's current position in this configuration. That concludes this discussion on the optional swing and boom working limits feature on the CCS Lattice Crawler products. Thank you for watching this episode of the Manitowoc Garage, and please feel free to subscribe to Manitowoc Cranes on YouTube to stay up to date on all our latest releases and training content.